Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create, verify, and submit your record of hours for school-based hours. I'll be demonstrating this in three short videos, so please make sure you watch all three videos to complete the process. The first video will include how to create your record of hours slash checklist. You should be logged on to My Courses and SPC classes EEXX3012 and my record of hours checklist is actually in week 6. I'm going to click on this. We know this is our assignment that has an integrated link to Chalk and Wire because of the purple box. So we're going to click on here. And that's going to take us to Chalk and Wire. And it lets us know, this is actually the class I'm going to be doing this in, TSL3080. This is for the record of hours. Our first phase will be create a record of hours or checklist. And to do that, we're going to go to menu, work, scroll down to journal, here I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of my journal. I want to use SPC Demo Student and then I'm going to use three behind it because I've already created two down here. So this will be the third one. Your teacher may have a naming convention they would like you to use so go ahead and use whatever they've asked you to call it. Um, now we need to choose a template and here on the drop down, if you happen to be taking one of these other classes, these are CCT checklists. But for what we're doing right now, we're creating a record of hours template. So go ahead and choose that. Then we're going to click New Journal. Here we click New Journal Entry. And we're going to scroll down a little bit. We're going to choose our supervisor next by clicking on this blue Choose Supervisor. This is going to be the name of your CCT. So go ahead and make sure CCT is selected. And here, type in the last name of your CCT. When you do that, their name should appear underneath, and we're going to click that. If for some reason your CCT is not in any of the drop downs, please go ahead and contact me, Christine Thrasher. Um, it is thrasher.christine at spcollege.edu, and I'll go ahead and get that person added for you. After you click the CCT name, it appears in the right hand column, and then we're going to go ahead and click Done. Here we need to enter the hours we've completed. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in 20. And in the next box, we need to add the days we actually worked and how many hours we worked. And I'm just going to say for May to 2 on May 22nd, you would go ahead and fill in all of this depending on what days you worked and how many hours. Some of the boxes may com be completely filled out because um, you may need to complete a lot of hours. Some of them, I believe, have like 500. After you've put in all of your days that you've worked in the hours, click Save and Continue. We know the computer has software has taken it because it does say successfully completed. We can scroll down to view everything we just entered. And scroll back up and click close. And that part is finished here. We can see this is the journal SPC Demo Student 3. This is the journal entry we just completed. It has gone to Ina Thrasher, your CCT now says pending. So until they sign off on it, it will say pending. And if you've accidentally created a journal entry and you want to delete it or edit it, this is where you would do that here. 
I just wanted to show you my contact information is down here if you need to email me or call me this is the contact information to add any of the CCTs and that is how you do a journal entry thank you